Unit 6. Word list. Absolute. If something is absolute, it is total or complete. My presentation was an absolute disaster. It was terrible. Alas. Alas is a word that people say when something bad happens. I looked everywhere for my prayers, but alas, I couldn't find it. Attentive. If you are attentive, you are careful and you pay attention. He is a good student because he is attentive to every detail on his work. Cape. A cape is a large cloth that covers one's back and is tied around the neck. The superhero wore a long red cape. Envision. To envision something means to imagine that it may happen. I can envision my mom's face when I give her this present. Evenly. When something happens evenly, it happens at the same rate or level. The food was handed out evenly among the hungry people. Folk. Folk are common or average people. I've invited all the folks from our street to a gathering at my place. Melt. To melt means to turn from a solid to a liquid. The snowman that we made yesterday melted in the sun. Patch. A patch is a part of a surface that is different in appearance from the rest. There was one small patch of grass in the sand-covered desert. Pleasure. Pleasure is a feeling of happiness. The student smiled with pleasure when she received the prize. Pop. A pop is a short, loud sound. I heard a loud pop. Then my computer screen shattered. Pudding. A pudding is a sweet dessert. Would you like some chocolate pudding and coffee for dessert? Rail. A rail is a horizontal bar made of metal or wood. The cat was sitting on the rail of the fence. Recipe. A recipe is a set of instructions to make food. The apple cake that you made is really tasty. Can I have the recipe, please? Roll. A roll is the normal purpose or function of a person or thing. My role at work is to check the quality of the products. Shrink. To shrink means to get smaller. If you stick to a healthy diet, your stomach will shrink. Soak. To soak something means to make it very wet. You need to soak these beans overnight before you cook them. Spark. A spark is a small, quick flash of fire. As he welded the two pieces of metal together, sparks flew everywhere. Spirit. A spirit is someone's feelings and personality, but not a physical body part. He has a very outgoing spirit. He can make friends with anyone. Suit. A suit is a set of clothes. It usually includes a jacket with pants or a skirt. I wore my new suit on my date with Melissa. Jack Frost and the Pudding Every winter, a magical boy with a wild spirit named Jack Frost arrives in town. He wears a white cape, and his role is to cover everything with frost and ice. But Jack Frost also gets pleasure from playing tricks on common folks. One dark winter evening, he was sitting on the rail of a fence near a river, pointing at some trees. When he did so, there was a pop, and the trees were evenly covered in frost. Then old Tom Muggins came along the path. He was carrying a basket of ingredients for his wife's cake recipe. I'll have some fun with him, said Jack Frost. He pointed, and suddenly there was a patch of ice on the path. Poor Tom slipped and fell into the river. The bags of flour, fruit, and sugar fell open and got wet. A couple of eggs broke, and a stick of butter shrank in the water. Tom gathered the ingredients and climbed out of the river. The food made an absolute mess of the path. Alas, 
he cried. There'll be no cake for me. Jack Frost laughed at poor Tom because his nice suit got soaked as well. Are you cold? he said. Don't worry, I'll make you warm. He pointed at the mess in Tom's basket. Suddenly there was a spark. What was left of the food caught fire. Jack Frost ran off laughing. Poor Tom sat by the fire. He could only envision how angry his wife would be. He wished he had been more attentive and noticed that Jack was around. Suddenly, a pleasant smell came from the basket. Tom looked inside. The butter was melting, and the eggs were starting to cook. Even the fruit began to simmer. Soon there was a fat, brown pudding in the basket. Tom tasted it. It was delicious. He happily took it home for dessert. Although Jack Frost had tried to make Tom's life difficult, Jack had actually made Tom a wonderful pudding.